Ah yeah, tunaingia pale group E basi. Romania surprise leaders at the top. Shout out to Romania. And Stanchu, what a player. Stanchu is a bad man. Yeah. Ah ah, kuna Stanchu na kuna boy mwingine mwenye alicheza kwa hiyo. Nani? Dragus. Dragus alifunga. Mm-hmm. No, there's someone else I'm thinking of. Anyway, yeah, what did you think about uh, Romania beating Ukraine? Were you surprised? I was happy. Yeah. Like who likes Zinchenko surely? Wow. Even us I was shocked as no fans were supporting Romania. I see you under dog mazi. Yeah, so I watched the second half of the game. Apparently before before the Turkey and uh, Georgia game, that was according to people, that was game of the tournament so far. Yeah, me I'd say me too. It was just in terms of end to end action. Yeah, it was entertaining. So, so, like, it was like, the sun was out. Uh, the fans are in are, in, are wearing vests. Like, it was it was just it was just perfect. I love the f- the first thing I I thought of ni eh Ukraine were the ones with the yellow so that was also shocking. That's yet ivo ilikuwa yellow na blue. Yeah, so so that ilikuwa tu yellow ilikuwa tu ile blue ya Ukraine yeah. yeah. So you could do Ukraine can 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 yeah, but yeah. una 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 attribute to ni Ukraine. Mm. Yote. Yote ni Ukraine. Yeah. But yeah. I was excited with the second half and Moso stand you know that the goal is scored but what he does what he did on the game the way he was attacking I love Dragushin from Spurs is a good defender. Yeah, he was. He, I, th- I, I believe him and Buka at the back were. They were solid. I love they, they knew, they knew that the only way Modric can, Modric, Modric, eh, Modric. The only way that Modric can hurt them if, if it's if they allow so much spaces in behind. But then that's the thing with this team. Modric is much more was much more dangerous coming from the wing. At some point of that they've conceded, they brought him to the center of the park where there's everyone. Like why you play? Alafu they they brought Yamalenko to the to the li- left. Yamalenko when he came on. Uh, Yamalenko didn't start. Yeah, he came on. When he came on, yeah. He went to the wrong Nini to the wrong wing. Yeah. Ama ama it's just a coaching thing. Who's the coach? Shevchenko still. Uh, assist Shevchenko. Mm. Uh, is Rebrov. Rebrov was actually Shevchenko's strike partner. Yeah, so me I was happy that they lost and uh, especially Zinchenko because he came with so much hype, he came with the flag, who does that? Hey, it's yeah. not even. It's the first game of the tournament you're coming with the flag. No, but you have to understand, you know for them what they are doing, what they're doing is, you know right now, Ukrainians don't have much to to cheer for. He's milking that uh, the, whoa, whoa, uh, out of our souls now. No, but it's true. Think it about far. it. We imagine we can talk him a war. There's nothing that is bringing you guys together. The, the, only Jana, thing, <laughs> the only thing that brings you together as a country is your football team. They don't have any other team. Mm-hmm. They don't have a rugby team. They don't have a basketball. They have nothing. But they have Shakhtar. Foot- <laughs> no, Shakhtar don't even play in Ukraine. Like play? Shakhtar don't even play in Ukraine. Like that's the thing. Oh, they are home. They're... But for me, Denis Mann was. Hey, Denis Mann was impressive. I was very, very impressed by Denis Mann. Mm-hmm. He's the one who assisted even Stanchu's goal, because it was a mistake. And but then it, Stanchu, it was a right press. It was them. a mistake, and then Stanchu ended up uh, like placing that in the Catalyzing top corner. That. Yeah. So the fact that you can you can say Romania and Aka underdogs. Yeah. Alafu who would expect underdogs were was it back relax like work, vibes. Mm. I think they brought the game to to Ukraine. Yeah. The the way we didn't expect. Yeah. I love they they also scored in the second half they scored quick goals. Yeah. Zika pulled Ukraine off the game. Yeah. Game next we are what are going to the same approach. Yeah. So, so I don't know if that's it's a blessing or a curse. No, but then yeah. So even Razvan Marin was good because he's the one who scored the the other goal. Yeah. Like that was actually like really really the boys on fire. Hey, the two Marines in midfield. Marin's goal was actually which goal was better for you? The Stanchu. Stanchu. Yeah. Top beans. Um yeah, so that was uh uh yeah, Romania Ukraine. So they were under the surprise of the tournament, Belgium going up against Slovakia. What do we expect from Lukaku? The, I, I in the post match I said we got the full Lukaku experience in this game. Like when you can Unezambia mtu, Lukaku has Accumulated 325 million in transfer fee. Is that the most expensive? Wow. Eh, hey, like if I was in a coma and I woke up today and you <laughs> tell me Lukaku is the most expensive player ever, it makes sense. Eh, hey. so Belgium are the biggest d- disappointment, but people saw that coming because in the predictions, I saw a lot of people say Belgium had to make it out of the group. 
but I think this they they'll still do it. Even Argentina lost the first game and won the World Cup. I I I I I, I, I don't believe in that defense, bro. Okay, I believe in it to some extent. Carrasco left back. It's only the first you game. What was the guy who used to play at Leicester? Manuel Mingi. Mm. I'm not a believer. Castagna, ah, it is okay. I love for Pierre KDB. The problem he has ni and afa control emotions zake. He was captain. He was upset like kuna venye. Okay, you can be the captain, but as, at least don't show that. Usionyeshe you are losing. Mm. Eh, hey, amuna 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 like just motivate your players. Be mad at them, but don't show the opponent that you are mad. Eh, hey, the opponent sana jua. Yes, we have you where we want. One thing that uh, Roberto Martinez did is bringing Trossard to the middle of the park. Mm-hmm. So having KDB and Trossard in the middle, it just created way more, they created way more problems for the opposing team. And I think that moving forward, that has to be the game plan. Because I, th- I don't know who they and brought And also, on. you have to play Openda. In, in place of Doku? No, in place of Lukaku. Lukaku can come off the bench. He has already scored more goals than Pele. <laughs> so you can have that. You can, utakuwa bench, but unasema, unonile unapata... Ukona, buzoka ukona year 12, ukona year 23. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They brought so, on Bakayoko for Mangala. Mm-hmm. That's when Tross had moved to the center. The, Bakayoko, the guy from PSV. Yeah. Bola. Um, yeah. Whereas now the Slovakia, uh, Schranz is the one who got the goal. Um, like I don't know people even from Slovakia other than Hamchik who's retired now. Is he in uh, the... Skriniar is their captain. Oh, yeah. Even, yeah, yeah. And also Lobotka. Skriniar. Uh, I think Kuchka. Kuchka was really impressive in this game. That combination of on the right side of Kuchka, Schranz, and even Pekarik. They were just like that. The right side is their strength. Like that is that is, you know how you go to a tournament. You're like this is our strength. That is them. Do you reckon they are going far? Who Slovakia? Yeah. Um, I mean they are definitely qualifying for round of sixteen because they already even if they lose the next two games, yeah. they'll definitely they be one of the best four, number threes. Yeah. So them they are through. In terms of going far, I don't know. I didn't see, I didn't see a lot from them that tells me when they if they meet Aka France in the quarterfinal. Aka Portugal. A Portugal. Yeah. I, like <laughs> I don't see it. Um. So yeah, that is Group E, and then 